this is Linda and Rick, 4963 Last Stand Drive. And uh, as you can see, there is lots of overgrowth. Uh, with these Arctic willows, they think we'll really get after those in the winter, but they could use a, a good trim now. Um, you know, some of the stuff is going to need reform reformating or reformations, um, but lots of weeds. In and throughout the Jenny, we've got lots of volunteers, lots of deadheading Nikki, so we'll have some good stuff to do. Um, you know, the lilies could be uh, cleaned up a bit and just eat the salvia back there, deadheaded, and then lots of morning glory in and throughout uh, this rock crest and um, that we need to get out and over here in the Jenny. The roses can be trimmed back a bit. See here we got lots of morning glory coming up. So it's gonna disguise itself in the Jenny. Um, the spireas can be trimmed. This pathway can be exposed. There's edging in here, so um, we can cut the Jenny back off the gravel. You know, the sand cherry could be trimmed back a little bit just to expose the pretty rock. Um, basically some deadheading over there and we are going to move a few things around come fall so that we can spread the love. We've got some sedum that needs deadheaded and then there's some holes in the back that I'll show you where this mulch, this bag of mulch can go. Um, just a real quick peek on this side. Uh, the lilies will probably move them to a different place eventually but for now they could just be deadheaded. Um, actually, we can start on this side. Not a ton over here. Uh, we can just blow the lavender, deadheaded, some shrub trimming, um, a little bit of deadheading, but not anything major. I'm sure there will be more debris at other times, just lots of volunteers in and throughout here. These shrubs we're going to trim back for now, but probably move them eventually. And back here in this lovely perennial garden, there's just lots of deadheading and uh, grooming. They do have the weed cloth down, but you can see there's weeds popping up underneath, and uh, which we can get after. But back here is where we can implement some of that mulch, that bag of mulch. There's lots of little bare spots where the blanket's exposed, but maybe in the spring we can get some new, some new mulch in here. But lots of volunteers and with this time we can um, cut it back to expose the rocks a little bit better um, and then again just lots of volunteers and then the spireas needed a little clip probably get another bloom out of them this year deadheading roses Volunteers throughout here. And Salvia sitting over here. Pretty deadheaded. And then something is loose there. Um, nothing major over here again. We're going to see um, how this boxwood does, but we might replace it. But it's not a huge deal at this point. But just along here, it's just kind of debris and trimming. So not a whole lot. Um, and we can just keep, you know, these blocks cut back, volunteers out of it. It does look like the aspen, there's some sap going on. So maybe we need to look into that. This, this is not their property, but I just noticed on the other side. And then, you know, volunteer there. That could be dug out. Um, volunteers and then throughout this side uh, that little hen and chick can stay <laughs> uh, but the rest of the volunteers could be gotten um, so this is the yard and then just we'll maintain this over here as well um, I believe this arctic willow is definitely there so this could be trimmed and then it kind of fades into this yard which this yarrow could probably be deadheaded it would take just seconds but I would believe that the rest is probably
probably the neighbors. Okay.